something be different. We're gonna have a little bit of blues behind all that we're doing today, but we're gonna be talking about classifying living organisms. And let's look and analyze the relationships among organisms and develop a model of hierarchical classification system based on similarities and differences using taxonomic nomenclature. Then a gentleman, a Swedish gentleman by the name of Carolus Linnaeus, and of course this is the gentleman that he was a botanist. This is more like what we're using today because he came up with a system of classification that's very systematic. Okay, and he believed that organisms that looked the most alike were the ones that were the most closely related. And right here it says, dominant keyboards produce cool, organ familiar, genuine sounds. There's a reason for this, because if we look to the previous slide or right here, follow me uh, here with a slide. Okay, you got kingdom, in other words, kingdom, Keyboards, phylum, produce, class, cool, order, organ, family, familiar, genus, genuine, species, sound. Binomial nomenclature means that to every organism he assigned two names. It's kind of similar like us, for example. We have a first name and a last name that allows people to track where we come from and who we are. Well, it's the same way here, binomial nomenclature. And in the binomial nomenclature system, what he did, uh, he came up with a genus and a species name for each particular individual. And that's very critical for you to see that, okay?